okay so you have added cg elements to your scene and you can't afford cycles rendering so you're gonna do it in eevee but unlike cycles eevee do not have a shadow catcher so what you will do well you can project the background footage onto the ground plane and enable ambient occlusion to get some shadow kind of thing though it's not a real shadow but it looks pretty good but it has a problem you will get a noticeable seam at the edge of your ground plane well there is a solution for that problem which i will tell you later so let's start making the shadow Create a ground plane underneath your model, go to material tab and select base color as an image texture. Import your background footage, give it enough frames and click on auto refresh. Now select the vector to UV and go to modifier tab and add a UV project modifier on it. Select the UV map and camera as the projector and make sure to subdivide the plane and change the scale until it matches with the background. To blend it with background, go to material properties and decrease the specular slider and also change the lighting to match the shadows with the background. Now the most satisfying part. Play with the distance to get the right amount of shadows. So here you have it. This was the part 1. You got the shadows. You can leave it as it is. But as I said you, you will get a noticeable seam at the edge of your ground plane. So to fix that, you can follow the part 2 with me. So to get rid of this hard seam, we will have to create some feather at the edge of the ground plane. So for that, let's create some nodes. Create a mixed shader node and a transparent BSDF node and plug the principal BSDF and transparent BSDF into the mixed shader node and mixed shader node into the material output. And then go to the material properties and select the blending mode to alpha hashed. Now if you will move the factor slider, you can see the opacity is changing here. So as we want some feather at the edge, we will have to create a mask like this. For this, you can use any photo rating software, well I am going to use after effects for this, though it's not a photo rating software, but it's really handy for me, so I will use that. Import the mask as an image texture and add a mapping node and a texture coordinate node behind it. You can simply press Ctrl T or Command T if you have node regular add-on enabled. Then make sure that object coordinate is connected into the mapping node and then you can connect the mask texture into the factor. But to see that how your mask is looking, you can connect it into the principal BSDF to get a clear view of your mask. Then change the location and scale from the mapping node to get the mask at the right place. After getting the mask at the right place, you can plug that into the factor and here you have it. Now you have a seamless shadow plane for your model. Just look at it. And yeah, you can also parent your shadow plane to the model if you are going to animate it. So we made it up to the end of the tutorial and I hope you like that video and definitely the shadow trick is gonna work for you. So the next video is coming soon, till then go and have some fun and yeah, keep rocking.